Alrighty folks, welcome back, this is an ASOS and I'm trying out a brand new, well, sort of brand new game, uh, just released game, this is called Scrolls, and of course it's from Mo Yang, the creators of Minecraft. I say it's brand new because it was just released, but it's actually been in beta and alpha before that, and a lot of testing phases for like a year or something, I guess. At any rate, I have never tried games like this before, and I was interested enough. Uh, there is a free download. I'll put a link on the uh, uh, description of this video. You just have to create a Mojang account if you don't already have one, and if you have a Minecraft account, then you already have one. Uh, and you can download it for free. If you download the free version, I think Ranked Match and Judgment are grayed out. You can't do those. And there's a couple of other things you can't do. But you can do quite a bit. Get started. Check it out. See what you think. Uh, so this is a card game. Uh, well, it's sort of card game and sort of board game mixed together. And I'm going to jump into an arena uh, or into a skirmish here in just a second and show you. But here's where you can uh, build your deck. Right now I just have the starter deck. I haven't purchased any other stuff yet. Uh, you can actually craft cards together, put two lessers together and make a better one. You can buy new stuff in the store, of course. And uh, you can buy everything for gold, uh, which is the in-game currency. You can also buy shards, and if you buy shards with real money, then you can use shards to purchase uh, some of this stuff, too. So, for instance, let's see, the Just For You section, I, people keep saying you should kind of keep up with that. So I can buy this Knight Scholar for a thousand gold or 120 shards, but I haven't purchased anything yet. So, anyway, any rate, enough about the overall game GUI and stuff. Okay, I've been through all the tutorial stuff, so I got the basics. I kind of get what the game's about. I'm going to jump into a skirmish. This is just an easy game against an AI player for now. And I'm going to go through it in a bit of detail and um, assume that you guys watching this video are not familiar with the game. If you know the game, you're going to laugh at me probably or you're going to be bored. So, you know, if I continue this, then maybe maybe you'll be more entertained in a future one. But for right now, I want to go through in a little bit of a, a detailed version. All right, so we're going to do a single player game against the computer. Um, we're going to do an easy AI, and I only have one deck. You can make multiple decks, of course. And this is my growth starter deck. You can see I downloaded and installed two days ago on, on release day. All right, so here's the game. Uh, it's, again, cards down here, and then kind of a board game up here in the middle. Uh, the whole goal of the game is to put your guys on your side and get them to attack these totems? I forget what they're called right now. Uh, attack this and kill three of the five. You don't have to kill all five, just three of the five. Um, and anything they play, either side plays, you can take a look. So if you click on this guy, you can see he's got a ranged attack, which is kind of weird. Uh, but he can do four attack damage. He's got a cooldown of three, uh, so it takes three turns before he can actually fire. And he's got two health, so he can only take two damage. Oh, and up here, he only costs one resource point to put down. So he's a very cheap unit, but uh, pretty good. 4-3-2. Uh, 3 is pretty long, but at uh, any rate. So starting off, we can either pick, keep this hand, or we can go and redraw the hand if we don't like the, the start, way we started. And against the AI, you have an infinite amount of time. So like I said, I'm going to do a fair amount of talking, especially just to get started here. Uh, against uh, another player, which is really where this game is going, is online. Uh, well, that, you know what, there is tri skirmishes, there's trials, there's a bunch of single player stuff, but there's also online against other players. Uh, but anyway, against another player, you only have 90 seconds per turn. So uh, we'll, get, we'll get going here in a minute. But let's just take a look at some of the basic stuff. Again, I'm going to assume you guys don't know much of anything about the game yet. Um, the first thing we basically have to do is pick one of these cards to sacrifice. Now this guy is going to cost five resource points and again I have growth points because that's my deck right now. He's a really good card but um, he takes five points and I have zero. So I'm not going to be able to play this guy for a really long time. So, And I don't know if this is the best thing to do or not the best thing to do but I'm going to sacrifice this guy. Now you can either sacrifice to get more growth points which is typically going to be your first move or you can sacrifice one card to get two and try to get something better. We're going to start out, we're going to sacrifice this, and it pops down here, and now I have one growth point. So I can play anything that only costs one point. I can play this little rat dude, and I can play this little uh, 
Wolf Dude. Now, neither of them are very good because they're only single point cards. But actually, both of these are, have an interesting trait. So if we click on the little magnifying glass, uh, again, one attack, two cooldown, two uh, health. But this guy has haste. So as soon as you play it, it'll reset the uh, countdown. Sorry, not cooldown. Countdown to zero. So as soon as you play that guy, he's going to attack. And I think the Beast Rat does the same thing. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. So if I play this guy, we're going to attack right at the end of this round. I'm just going to click on him and click where I want it to go. I'm going to go right there. And you see his countdown went to zero. So at the end of this round, he's going to attack this guy for one point. Now, he's got two health, so we're not going to kill him. Uh, but we can do some damage. Uh, so I've sacrificed my cards. I've used my one entire growth point. That's about all I can do this round. So let's move on. There we go. Woohoo! We attacked. Now he's still got two turns of cooldown. I've got one because this guy uh, is faster than him. So I'll actually be able to attack again. And if he doesn't put something ahead of the, in front of him, or then I'll be able to kill him. Okay. Um, this one... I, I'm starting to know some of the cards. So this guy gives us, uh, helps reduce cooldown on some some people. This gives plus attack, and again, you can click on any of these to find out. So, Champion's Ring, you it's an enchantment, it's not a creature. You enchant another creature. So, if I put that on here, this guy would actually attack for three. But I need two points to do that. I love Rallying. That's a really useful spell, but again, it's five points, and I'm nowhere near five points. So, I'm going to sacrifice that one for growth, get myself up to two points, and then maybe we can do something here. So... I, I could put the champion ring on here, but that's kind of pointless because he's kind of a really low power, weak character uh, creature. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just put the beast rat down and get his cooldown going. Let's do that. So another thing they talk about a bunch, and I'm going to let the AI go here, is that controlling this middle lane right here is kind of important. I'm sure there are other sacrifices. Uh oh, what do we got now? A 3-3... Three, three, two cooldown guy so he can't attack yet but he's pretty pretty strong that's a pretty decent little guy uh, and this guy is glowing now you see he's glowing because he's saying next turn this guy's gonna attack and he attacks for four so he's gonna do some good damage uh, this guy is ready to attack next turn as well so I could move him up oh that's another thing you can move one space Tip normally you can only move one space there are things that can speed you up but I could move him up here and I could attack uh, and hit this guy for one or I could put that champion ring on him, hit this, this guy for three and kill him, but then this guy would attack next round uh, and kill me. So, you know, I don't know what to do there yet. Uh, Rumble's kind of weird. Let's. I, I've got two of these. Let me... Hmm. I actually have spell, spell, enchantment, and a spell. I have no other character creatures to play right now. Um, oh, here's an idea. Oh, yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, so, do I have to, well, I have to sacrifice first. This guy is going to decrease the countdown on all creatures with an attack of two or less. So that's good. This guy only has a one attack. That's going to decrease his countdown to zero. So he can attack this round. This guy can already attack this round. And then I can throw the... Oh no, I can't. I can't do do because I'd need five points. I need three there and two here. Well, shoot. All right, whatever. We're gonna just sacrifice that for growth, and then we're going to. Let's see. This one would hit for one. That one would hit for one. That's not gonna do much good. Uh, you know what? Let's just enchant champion him up and then put him up here. We'll we'll kill off this uh, royal skirmisher dude and get him off the board. Let's just do that. And now normally, like I said, you only get 90 seconds per turn, so uh, yeah. Oh, he's going to play a wall, which is just hard to get through, which is annoying. And a summon. Oh, he just drew that wall. Drew, draw a structure scroll. Yeah, okay. Alright, Junkyard empowers rats. I don't have any rats. Uh, Rumble is kind of pointless. It moves all of his things one random tile. Well, I could get this guy out from behind the obelisk, I bet. 
and then attack him with this and then that would kill him yeah let's do well if it moves him this way if it moves him up then I can't get to him but let's try it what the heck uh, let's do rumble we're gonna cast that oh yeah perfect and now he's only got one health left I have one attack bam he's dead all right and I should have done this earlier but I still need to sacrifice uh, a scroll I'm gonna keep the junkyard in case I can get some rats going because that that helps empower all the rats and make them do more damage okay um, I probably should it's kinda of 50 50 I mean I want more growth but I also need more cards let's you know, let's go growth one more time so I get my four points I think that's probably the best move alright and in my turn kill his guy yay of course I did just put that obelisk right in the middle of the map but whatever uh, okay he didn't play anything this time rangers bane is cool I like this one it's a uh, ability to poison any of their creatures so if he puts something back here behind this obelisk that I want to kill I just throw rangers bane on it that's good so that means I'm gonna sacrifice junkyard and I need cards at this point so let's sacrifice for cards oh boy totem spell and uh, spell well enchantment I guess I can play the totem right now because I've got four points but and uh, and this totem is good it just gives me plus one attack on all creatures which is great but I have nowhere to hide it so he could well okay I can put it behind here all right all right let's put that behind my one lonesome rat <laughs> and this guy's only got two health so he's pretty easy to kill and so is that now you can see this guy does two damage instead of one so we're getting there we're getting there let's go uh, okay so he's just gathering stuff he hasn't played anything yet oh brother the wolf we're definitely gonna play that one this guy can summon um, ragged wolf so he's got to get his count down to zero and then he can summon a wolf to go with him and he's a three two four guy so he's he's pretty good um, let's let's see I've only got four points this one lets me draw a creature scroll this one I like because it yeah oh boy I gotta sacrifice something if you don't sacrifice you're not making progress in either getting more scrolls or more points to play scrolls um, All right, let me sacrifice that for growth. And let me let me get the brother the wolf down here. We'll get his cooldown started. I think I'm going to put him right down the middle row. I hate dealing with that stupid obelisk, but sure, let's do that. All right, moving on. And again, guys, I have never played this kind of game before, but I'm just trying to learn what did he just do frost win units on the target tile have their cooldown increased by one so he just increased both of these guys cooldown made it take an extra turn before they can attack uh, okay I hate this one usually I mean in certain circumstances it might be good when they've got a lot and you don't but it does one magic damage to all units not all of his units all units so right now if I played it I'd do three damage to me and one to him so we don't want that at all. Let's uh, let's get rid of him for more cards, please. Oh, we got the Jarl, 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 whatever. This guy is uh, one of the best cards in the starter deck. He's got a four-two-six, and he's inspiring. So anybody next to him, what is it? Adjacent units have their attack increased, and he's relentless. So if he's got enough damage, he will keep going through. Um, creatures so like if a high damage creature came in and, and hit this for let's say six he would just stop he'd just kill that and be done but if he's relentless he'd hit this for two and this for two and this for two he'd get you two four six so relentless is pretty cool uh, breakers pretty good that's pretty good let's oh I already sacrificed good so I've got five I can do a three and a two all right let's do that let's let's do a can I do a bane on this no because Bane only works, Poison only works on creatures, not on totems or whatever those are. Alright, well let's get the Breaker down. Um, he's kind of cool, he's a 3-2-3 a three, three, three or whatever, but now that he's next to the, the Jarl, he gets a bonus. 
Um, and he gets a bonus from that. Maybe I should have put it there, but we'll see. Uh, Zealot? I think they... Yeah, once they get to zero, right, they can sacrifice themselves and do two damage to any unit on the board. So that's kind of annoying, but I know what I'm going to do with him. Oh, God Hand is such a cool spell, but I never get to play it. So you get plus two attack to all of your units for the, the turn and cooldown re, uh, decrease by two. So basically, you make all your units attack and they attack really hard, but it takes eight points and it takes forever to get that. So I'm going to sacrifice that for growth. And then, oh, I still need one more. Dang it, for the Jarl. Alright, well, and then we're going to throw Ranger's Bane up here on this guy and start poisoning him. Uh, nobody else is ready to attack, so let's do it. Move on. There we go, we did one damage. Oh, what are you? You're new. A Royal Vanguard, 325. Wow. When the count is zero, adjacent units get a plus two attack until the end of the year. turn. Huh. Don't like that. Ooh, Oak Blood makes you really strong. Plus six health on one creature. Costs four points to do that, though. Now I've got a problem. I can sacrifice that and play the Jarl, which is a pretty darn good creature. Or I can use this, which is a pretty darn good enchantment, on something that's already on the board. Huh. Let's see, what do we got here? We got a 4-4... Four, four and he's gonna die this turn. You've got see the problem is that's got a five, that's got a five, so I can't kill that or that. Let's do this. Let's put you here. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice this, even though it's a really good card. Um and then I can play the Jarl. And that's gonna give me bonus attack. So let's place that here. Yeah, five and five. Okay, so these guys are both going to attack this turn and they're going to kill that, kill that, he's going to burn out and we should be good. Go. Kill that, kill that, burn out. Yes. Yay! I'm beating an easy AI player. I am so awesome. <laughs> uh, and then he plays two pretty good cards. Well, there's that. What do we got? We got an infantryman, plus one health, and a relentless skirmisher. Interesting. Uh, this guy, you know, he's not bad. You get a bonus uh, growth point from him. I mean, actually, he's a crummy creature, but you get a bonus growth point. But I need cards, something fierce. So, uh, what do we got? Sister of the Bear and a junkyard. All right, so Sister of the Bear is fine. That's just like a fairly strong, decent unit. Um, and the junkyard, that's fine. So let's just back this guy up. We're going to put the sister of the bear up front because she's got a better defense value. And we'll throw the junkyard down just because we can. Uh, let's just throw it way down here. And next turn. Come on, AI. What you got going on? Really? Royal Vanguard. That's That's not a bad... Oh, you guys are both going to attack next turn, if you live. I may have screwed up. Oh, no, well, well hmm, dang it. Let's see what we can do. We, I got four guys that are about to attack, and I've got a great wolf. Or I can sacrifice that. I need to kill, again, we got to kill these totems is the whole point, but keeping uh, ahead of them on creatures is also a good idea. So this guy is going to attack for 9. If I move him back, he's going to lose a point. That's going to be okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to move you back, and then I can move either a 3 or a 5 up there. So you're going to attack for 4. A 3 would be plenty. This guy will hit that for 5, and then this guy will hit you, and we should be good. Let's do that and that. Now, do I want the Great Wolf? I like the Great Wolf. He's a good card. He's relentless, and if you have other wolves, you get plus one attack uh, on this guy. I don't have any other wolves. Let's get cards. Let's see what else we can get. And I guess I should be doing that first to see what I get before I move stuff around, but whatever. 
Uh, Sister of the Fox, what do these do? Yeah, I get an extra scroll when I play this. Play these, so... Uh, let me just play them right here. We'll just pop them both right up there. Give me a new scroll. Um... Actually... I'm gonna put this up. More damage for everybody. More damage! Yay! Alright. Go. You're dead. You're half dead. You're dead. And... Oh yeah. There we go. Like I said, I'm amazing. I can maybe, probably beat easy AI. Oh, he's stacking them hard over here now. Look at that. Eh, he hasted up. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, okay, so this is kind of a cheesy little one, but gives me another card. This gives me a bonus attack damage. Let's... That's fine. Let's sacrifice you for more cards. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, here we go. Rallying. That makes everybody able to attack again this turn. So, six, five, and seven. We're done. Rallying. Cast. I don't even care what's up here. All I have to do is kill these three totems and we're done. So, that one's going to hit for six, which will kill that totem. This whole row is going to hit that for about a million. And then this guy's going to hit that one for seven. And... That's a win! There we go! And some extra damage just for kicks. Woohoo! And I love that the, the AI player talks to you at the end. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Alright, well I had fun. I hope you guys did. I'm going to rank it 5 stars because we won and it was a good time. Uh, so we got some points for victory, for completion, I don't know what that means, idols, and uh, total. And there we go. Uh, and as you go on, you actually get achievements for defeating different decks and stuff. So, so let's see. If I go into the profile and go down to showing the achievements, I think we found out these are the way at the bottom. Yeah, so I've beat the Order Starter deck three times now, an Energy deck once, and a Decay once. Um, I think if you finish these achievements, you get access to these other starter decks. Not quite sure, but I think so. And I think that's it for today, guys. So, like I said, I have not played much of this. I'm just starting to learn it. And uh, thought I'd record an episode, see what you guys think. I'll uh, put this up, see what your comments are, and decide if I should uh, continue on with this or not. And again, this one I did a lot of talking and a lot of detailed how does this work and how does that work uh, as you as I learn it and as then I presume my viewers would come along with me will talk less and fight faster so that's it for now I'll catch you guys later hope you enjoyed it <laughs>